What's up guys, we're going to do the root, a rooting of Samsung Galaxy S5 today. Uh, I've got model SM G900F, international model. This root method should work for pretty much all models of the S5 currently. Over here we can see about my device, I've got Android version 4.4.2 and kernel version 3.40. If you have gotten pushed an update to your device and you check it and, and your version is newer than 4.4.2, then you might want to check around to see if there's another root method out. This root method may no longer work if you've gotten a newer version of Android updated. Uh, I don't think that this is, there's a good chance that this will no longer work for Android L when it comes out. Now, before we can download and install the Tile Root APK, we got to allow uh, the ability to install apps from unknown sources. You got to go into your settings and select uh, security. And once you get in there, just check the box that says unknown sources and we're ready to go. And then we want to go to towelroot.com. Click on the link. Once we go to the website there, we're going to see in the a big image on the middle of the right in the middle of the page and it's going to look like it's called a lambda sign. You just click on that and it's going to be ready to download. It's going to ch ask you to choose a file name. It'll say TR and just press okay on that. After it finishes downloading, it'll say no items to display. Click on the bottom um, right where it says files and you will see the file that it downloaded. Tap on the file trapk, and then it'll say it'll ask you how you want to run that. Click on in package installer, and accept that. And then it'll ask, do you want to install this application? It will get access to blah 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 blah. Click install. So now it's installing, and when it's finished with installing the app, just click on open. And in the middle of the app that has opened up. It'll only have one button. It'll say make it rain in leet speak. Click on that button. It may take about a minute to install, but at that point, when it finishes, your device will actually be rooted. The only issue is that you won't actually be able to use root uh, apps quite yet. You have to go to the app market and install an app called SuperSue. So let's go there. Go back to your home screen, enter the Play Store. Now let's find Super Sue, and we need to install that. And after we have installed Super Sue, just open it up. When you start it up, it's going to say the Sue binary needs to be updated. Con click Continue on that, and then it will ask you uh, if you have a custom recovery uh, like TWRP or CWM, etc., uh, etc. Et um, at this point, if you follow my instructions, you should not have any custom recovery. So just click on normal at this point. And it may take about a minute or two for the, it to update the SU binary, depending on your internet speed. Now after it finishes updating the SU binary, it's going to ask you, Samsung Knox has been detected. This might limit root capabilities and cause annoying pop-ups. Try to disable Knox, yes or no. Uh, you want to click OK on this. Um, if it hangs and does not finish, it may hang. Uh, what you'll want to do is restart your device and go back into uh, SuperSue and start it again, and it will ask you the same question again. And when it does, click OK again. Then it should go through if you had an issue the first time. Alright, so after you've disabled Knox, that's it. Your device is rooted. Congratulations. Alright, so now that your device is rooted, you can install all the root apps you want. Install Clockwork Mod, TWRP, 